So we, Mark and myself, proposed a series of conferences dealing rationally or scientifically uh, with the proposition that human beings are stuck with virtue. We hope to bring together a variety of distinguished experts in the natural and human sciences to reflect on the science of virtue. We also hope to provide a model of how colleges and universities can take up the study of virtue in the most intellectually serious and engaged way today. And finally, we hope to further our own path-breaking research into the stuck with virtue approach to the science of virtue. The search for the perfect mood inevitably leads us to realize that the good stuff, like love and pride, depends on the hard or bad stuff, like worthwhile work and death. And you know, once we've achieved that kind of wisdom, it seems to us, we wouldn't want our mood to be chemically altered at all. So we have an inalienable right to our moods in part because they aren't random collections of chemicals, but natural clues to the truth about who each of us is. We also have a right to our moods because what we've been given by nature, if used well or virtually, really is good enough. Nature, Darwin was right to say, intends all the species to be happy by living according to nature. But Solzhenitsyn added, of course, that our members of our species weren't born only to be happy because we were also born to die. So we're stuck with virtue as human beings. There are natural reasons for that. And so we need, above all, a science of virtue that incorporates what we, what incorporates what we know through natural science, philosophy, theology, and the humanities generally. We need to get over the modern era that the best way to get ourselves happy is to free ourselves from our natures. And we also need to get over the error that by nature we're pretty much one species and one mechanism among many. So we propose three conferences. The first conference will be about the scientific foundations of the modern world, both in terms of foundational theory and in terms of the theory which has had the greatest cultural and political influence. So the first conference, to make a long story short, will be about Descartes, Locke and Darwin. Our second conference will be about five schools of thought that are popular mainly in America, influential mainly in America, uh, about our technological and coming biotechnological world. The first is the transhumanists who hope and predict that we can transcend the limitations of natural necessity or the limitations of our embodiment altogether. Uh, they're the Lockean Cartesians run amok with, uh, with, on steroids or something. The second school is the sociobiologists, including the Darwinian conservatives, who remind us that our evolutionary nature is the true source of our duties and our happiness. The third school is the anti-brave new worlders, bad name, couldn't think of a better one, the anti-brave new worlders who fear that technology will cause us to surrender our humanity and cause us to language like Nietzsche's last men in subhuman contentment, to languish like beings unworthy of virtue. The fourth school, which is getting big in America, the agrarians, the Wendell Berry people, now the front porch Republicans, who believe that the only hope for virtue is to return to an earlier stage of technology or the division of labor. Only by living more simply and locally can we rec uh, recover the connection with nature that's the true source of both our dignity and our happiness. And the fifth school, in a way most unfashionable than ever, the Christians, who believe that modern obsessions are best cured by real faith in a personal God, and who believe that no amount of modern success can cure us of what ails us or alleviate us of our true misery. Most fundamentally, our homelessness wasn't caused and can't be cured by modern success. Now our third conference, and we're starting with high theory, working our way down to kind of mid-range theory of public intellectuals, professors, and such. Our third conference will draw down to real issues of public policy. So we will have the three conferences uh, with distinguished experts, and I'll be glad to tell you more about that if you want to know. We will have hired respondents. We'll publish all that in the form of a book. And then Mark and I will respond and reflect upon all this in our own book on the Stuck with Virtue uh, thesis of, uh, richly informed
by all these presentations. And then our third stage, and maybe in a way our most important stage, will propose a, a way of redesigning the undergraduate curriculum from a stuck with virtue perspective.